Hey there folks, I'm Ruby Juice back with another Fact Sheet Friday for the Gvernland Vicon DLC for Farming Simulator 19. Of course, this DLC comes out on June 16th, and it's out for all platforms on that date. Giants has been giving us new fact sheets every Friday to show off the equipment in this DLC, so let's jump right into it. First one this week is the Gvernland 2500 SI Plow, and this is a unique plow in the sense that you can use a piece with it that will cultivate the ground at the same time. So it'll cultivate alongside the plow, so you're plowing and cultivating at the same time. So it'll cost you $36,000 for the plow, you need 165 horsepower to pull it, and it's 2.5 meters or 8 feet wide. And you'll plow at 12 kilometers per hour or 7 miles per hour. And you see that you can use an SB700, which is a weight with it, and also the Pacamat attaches to it, and the Pacamat, I'm assuming, is the cultivator piece that goes alongside it that cultivates the ground as you plow. And you can see in the footage here from Giants it doing exactly that, cultivating alongside the tractor as you go and you plow behind the tractor. So you're doing two jobs at the same time. And next up, we've got the Kvernland DG2 12,000 Seeder. And this is a nice looking seeder. It's going to cost you $138,500. You need 230 horsepower to pull it. Holds 6,000 liters, only seed, no fertilizer in this one. And it'll work at 12 meters or 39 feet wide and 18 kilometers per hour or 11 miles per hour. So very similar to a lot of the other seeders in the game. You can use a weight along with it if you so desire. And it'll seed wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, and grass for you if you want. And you can see that it will seed directly without the need to cultivate first. You can see in the fact sheet and the footage seeding directly into the stubble, so no need to plow or cultivate with this one. And last but certainly not least, we've got the Kvernland Optima RS seeder. This one will cost you $69,000. It needs 180 horsepower, holds 2,720 liters, and works 9 meters or 29 and a half feet wide at 15 kilometers per hour or 9 miles per hour. So a little bit skinnier and a little slower than the other one, but this one does hold seed and fertilizer. And as I look down here, I see it plants corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, cotton, and canola. And that tells me that this is actually probably going to be in the planters category, even though the fact sheet says cedar. My guess is it's a planter, and that's just a minor typo there on the fact sheet. So this is beautiful looking equipment. I do really like the look of the planter especially, but the other stuff looks great as well. I will definitely be looking forward to using this. It is somewhat similar to things that we've already got, but different look, different brand. Uh, that plow with the cultivator definitely offers something a little bit different as well. So nice additions to the farm for sure. And that's it for this week's fact sheets. Thank you very much for watching. And just a reminder, if you're planning on pre-ordering the DLC or purchasing it after release, please consider using my Giants Partner link, which is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.